this all kind of started for me in like 2007. I started getting these terrible, terrible, terrible pains right above my belly button. And it just felt like someone was stabbing me. I went to the ER after ER, years and years. Finally, 2011, they took out my gallbladder after running a PIDA scan and showing 0% activity in my gallbladder. They took it out. I am now, still many years later, having issues. They kind of just generalized it to IBSD predominant, which is diarrhea predominant. So just kind of a general thing I feel they just throw around when they aren't sure how to correctly diagnose an intestinal problem that's mostly brought on by stress, but also bile that is not being reabsorbed, making it through the gastrointestinal tract all the way out. It is not comfortable. But think this for smart doctors because... If my PCP hadn't gone above and beyond and just taken one thing away from her lecture that weekend, she wouldn't have even suggested that I might have BAD, which stands for bile, acid, salt, diarrhea. Now, with BAD, there are actually some options. There's a medication I can take that is for something else but it's just a powder drink mix and it kind of binds everything together and makes it regular you know morning is graphic content not pictures but just describing possibly if you don't like talking about poop or you get squeaky get out of here everybody poops i don't care so now here we are over 10 years later i've been suffering and in and out of hospitals and trying to convince family members that I'm not faking it for attention, trying to convince people that I didn't force the admitting doctor to admit me to the hospital for two weeks. It's such a long time coming. Now, that being said, I can't thank my doctor enough, but also I have to say that diet, diet is the most important thing I think that's helping me out. And Being a regular sick girl for the past mm, over 10 years, I have come to understand that I do not need medication. Yes, there are some times that it gets out of control and I need to be able to have something to help control it so that I live like a normal person and not have to go to the ER. And that is just to eat healthy. I have given up red meat about two years ago. I've been doing chicken and fish and turkey burger very lightly, um, more, more or less regularly. I've been trying to do as much vegetarian as possible. Um, thank goodness to this highly underdiagnosed condition. I hope that anyone that suffers with the same kind of symptoms that I had and find some relief. One of the main things that you need to look for is bile in your stool. So if you're having a really bad poop and it's burning so bad, and then you look back and you see that there's like a bunch of yellow liquid in your poop, that's probably bile that did not get reabsorbed and is going through your whole intestinal tract and it's burning (laughs) and it hurts. So definitely talk to your doctor if you think that that is something that could be bothering you. Don't be like me and have to go over 10 years without having any kind of relief or any kind of answers. Explain myself constantly. Or I love the whole, oh, but you look too pretty to be so sick. No. No. All of those things, no. It is your life. It is your body. Only you know what is going on with it. Don't let anybody play you down. If you are hurting, if you are having constant problems, definitely go talk to your doctor. Definitely see what's going on down there. It could turn into something serious. Thankfully for myself, I'm not suffering from Crohn's and I'm not suffering from colitis. The simple powder drink mix in my life is back.
So that's my story about BAD or IBS D, which now they have officially changed my diagnosis to bile acid salt diarrhea. It's a less general diagnosis, much more specific and way easier for GI specialists to move forward with your treatment. I hope this has helped. If you guys are suffering with anything like this or you have any questions about how I found out all of this stuff, please feel free to leave a comment. I will definitely get back to you. If you feel like you just aren't sure but you're having a lot of pains, you know, go talk to your doctor and, you know, raise some concerns. There's a lot of stigma out there about abdominal pain. A lot of times the doctors will not take you seriously. So make sure that you have logged what you've been eating and logged your bathroom activities so that when you do go, if you have to go to the doctor or the ER, you have these things to present to them that are solid pieces of information. That's what they're going to want from you anyways. So if you come prepared like that, they're going to take you a lot more seriously. So I hope this has helped you guys. And, you know, if it has, please let me know. If you have questions still, I'm here for you, man. And definitely, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't or for some reason if I was mistaken about something I had said, please let me know and give it a thumbs down. <laughs> And once again, to the haters, I don't care. I really, really, really don't care. <laughs> that being said, peace.